Hi everybody, as promised, here's a quick video to show you how to enroll students in your Canvas courses. Uh, before we go on, I do want to apologize, this is a little bit blurry. Um, I'm getting used to this explain everything and uh, so we're just going to have to deal with a little bit of blurriness right now. But hope this can be helpful to you in enrolling your students into your Canvas courses. So uh, I've logged on to Canvas and I'm going to enroll students into my Spanish 1 class. This is a class with two sections. Nikki Glue will teach the other section, so I'm just enrolling my own students into my class. If you are teaching a course with more than one section and you are teaching both sections or three sections, uh, I can help you uh, learn how to put your students into different groupings within your one Canvas course, but I'm not going to address that in this particular video. So here we are on my Spanish 1 page and I go to the left side menu and select people and I get to this page. You can see that I'm currently the only member of this class so as I enroll my students I want to click on the add people button here. So clicking on Add People leads you to this uh, screen and to this text box and you want to type the email addresses of your students into this box. You can copy and paste, of course, uh, but you want a list of all of your students' Holderness email addresses uh, in this box. Um, so I re recommend that you put them all in, in the same box and then you'll be clicking on Next. Where do you get the email addresses um, to put in that text box? Well, I did just send you this very uh, Excel document um, in the email that had this video link. You can see that it's sorted by course. Um, for example, we have all of the advanced pre-calculus students here, um, and that's enough for a couple of, of sections. And uh, I do want to warn you that what appears to be one section here and one section here does not necessarily correspond to what's in FA Web, which I um, am pretty sure is the most up-to-date thing. So please do check this uh, list. If you're looking at two different sections, check this list against your FA Web and use your FA Web list for the actual enrollment list. Um, so these are the correct email addresses for our students. Use those, please, to enroll your kids. We'll take a quick look at my FA Web page. You can see I have two courses. Here's my Spanish 1 roster. I'm going to check that against the Excel document and use the Excel document emails to um, fill that text box with these 10 students Holderness emails. So I do that and I've done three here. Um, not 10, but just for the purposes of the video, I've done three. Once I do that, I'm going to click on Next. And I get to this page. And I'm not quite done. There is one more step to take. You have to click on Add Users at the bottom of that page. And each student will be sent an invitation email. Before I finish up this video, I do want to note, you'll see... Joquan Graham, his email address could be exactly the same as Mr. Graham, the teacher's email, because of Jordan Graham and Joquan Graham. And because of that potential glitch, Karen in the tech office has given Joquan the email address of J O G R A H A M at holderness.org. So, so do double check and make sure you've got the correct email address on that Excel sheet. And uh, good luck with importing, or excuse me, enrolling your users. And let me know if you need a hand. Thank you.